So the last couple of days were, well, very productive. We redid our balcony. We kind of like prepared our balcony for summer. And this is something I always wanted to do. But last year, I don't know, last year was just crazy. This year I thought it's the perfect time. So we got rid of our artificial grass. It was completely full with Cooper's fur. There was no way of getting it out anymore. And it was very old at this point. We also got rid of our day bed because same thing, this wood has been standing outside for years and years and years through all the very rainy winters and falls here in Berlin. It was time for something new and we looked at IKEA for new stuff. So we found this flooring that is basically just a bunch of little squares that you can click into each other. You don't need to prep anything before that and it's very easy, you can just you know, start using it right away. And this is what we did. So we have this new flooring and then Dom also built those new sun beds. And then as I told you in my last vlog, I always wanted to have a little balcony garden to plant veggies and fruits. And I wanted to do that with my son together to kind of like show him how fruit and veggies grow. So we got these planned boxes, wooden boxes. I put some foil in it and then we just filled it up with soil and planted carrots, salads. I also got a strawberry plant. And then we will also get tomato plants from the garden of my parents. So my studio space is right next to the balcony. I love just the idea of opening both of the doors in the summer and then kind of like extending my studio to the balcony, doing my emails outside or sketching outside, planning outside. And it's just such a nice and romantic idea. So I'm very excited that we cleaned up everything now and that everything is nice and ready for warmer days to come. first day this year that it's like summer temperature and I'm making iced coffee I hope that I will get my work done today like a little early so I can enjoy the weather today I want to record a, um, a voiceover for a patreon video because I don't know if I told you that yesterday or not but I'm going to make a Q&A video like process Sash q and video. Okay, wait, it's gonna be loud in three, two, one. By the way, yesterday I dyed my eyelashes black. I mean, I, I like using mascara, but not all the time and actually barely at all. And I prefer using a lash serum. So my lashes are nice and long, but they're kind of blondish on the tips. So I dyed it black yesterday. And now you would think I wear mascara, but I don't. I don't. Second. He thinks I want to play. I need to work, honey. This is like my favorite part in the morning. Making my coffee and starting the day. All right, let's go to work.
The painting that I'm working on right now is inspired by Italian fruit markets. So when I was a kid, we always went to Italy in the summer, almost every year. They had these huge markets with an abundance of like different fruits and veggies. And it was just so pretty. And like some of the fruits I ate there for the first time. It was also always such a nice treat after like a pool day or a day at the sea, just like eating fresh fruit. It was really nice and lately I've been seeing some pictures, I don't know where, but made me remember that and then I wanted to paint something inspired by a fruit market. I love painting fruit anyways. I'm missing this one brush that I had yesterday. Where is it? I got it. Where's my open? I'm so unprepared. Also lately I've been so in love with gouache painting. So this is, I always do a color test on my iPad before. This is what the colored version look like. And I always keep the color test when I paint so I can, you know, see if I'm on the right track with the colors. Anyways, I wanted to say that lately I've been really, really enjoying painting with gouache and painting traditionally in, in general. Maybe because I've been I've been painting digitally and drawing digitally for such a long time that now it's just so nice to do something different. It's just so calming and the process is so slow. And I really enjoy that right now. That's why I've been really excited for this painting, to start this painting. I've had this sketch for a while and last week, um, what was last week? Oh yeah, last week I had no time to start it. But this week, we'll have to start my camera. and I put the, <laughs> the table in front of the of the wall so I can get a nice shot for real yeah things you do right things you do nowadays yesterday my sister and I went to a Novo Amor concert <laughs> concert for me in like three years it was so nice it was such a nice feeling to do these things again like before everything happened i used to really love going to concerts and then we couldn't obviously but now it was the first concert again after a while it just felt so nice the music was so good came back at around 11 30 or something and then i fell asleep at like 12 which is super late for me, so today I'm feeling very tired. I wanted to sketch some fruit stickers for this, no, for next month's Happy Mail. Because I finished, I finished this painting, I'm very, I'm very proud of it. This is, I think, my favorite painting I've ever done. And this is gonna be the next print for June, yeah. Wow, it's already June soon. Anyways, I wanted, you know, I have these stickers on the fruit and I wanted to make fruit stickers as for the set, for the Happy Meal set. So I have spent some time sketching some ideas for the fruit stickers. They are all very similar, but I think my favorite ones, first of all, this one, it says, so juicy, so yum. <laughs> and then probably this one with the strawberry. The next thing I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna work on the 
Patreon video for this month. I felt like making a q and I haven't done one in a while. I used to make monthly Q&As and then I stopped doing that. And I think the last one that I made was about two years ago, maybe. Um, so it's going to be like a chill, paint and chatty Q&A kind of video. 